Hello guys, so a few updates. As in the video shown earlier, the pool cur and they were done because haven't rehoused their minyas and there you can see a bat. Uh -huh. Glossy up ahead. I rehoused all these four which I'll show you in a second. To Gramistolas, Scorpions chilling. These are up here now. Things are coming together slowly but steadily. But I have um something I need to say guys. So this morning when I woke up and I checked on my roaches, first thing I noticed was these handles were absolutely covered in my it's black completely covered. So I was like, shit, I, um, I need to clean this up, uh, so that's why I did. But, as you can see uh, over here already, when I was cleaning them out, I uh, kept, I did it outside, and it was really sunny, and I kept all the roaches in like a glass aquarium similar to this, and then left them sitting in the sun, and left the, um, yeah, I left them out sitting in the sun. And clean that thing out. And then by the time I was done, I went back to my roaches. I realized I've basically been baking them. And so many of them have died. Like, you can see on the floor. There's so many dead ones. I started picking some out. I fed about a good 10, 20 to my teeth already. Just chucked some dead ones in, and most of the teeth took them down. But yeah, this is, this is not good. Look at how many of them are just. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping some will recover because you can see some are still moving. So I'm hoping by tomorrow, like the orange in there, they'll eat something and recover and power through. If not, I mean, I still have a few. I still have quite some left, I think. But yeah, I definitely lost like more than half of my roaches. So that's not good, thankfully. Uh, I mean, there's still, there's some lights on here too, yeah. But a lot less, and I think they're flat ones that I squished, yeah. My dubias are doing great. I've got a lot of dubias, I'll show you. My do are doing awesome. There's a lot of dubias in here. Uh, there's the majority of on the bottom, I think. Yeah, they're on the bottom. I've got a lot of dubia. They're breeding well. They're eating well. They didn't have mites on them, so that's all very nice. But they're all done below near the heat mat. Isn't that warm actually at all? So, yeah, the we are doing good. So, um, it's not like i um, suddenly run out of feeder insects now because of um, the live house roaches, but it definitely sucks either way. I've still got all of star feeding the dubia now. So, yeah, it's a big, big bummer. I'm really disappointed in myself for making that stupid mistake, but yeah. Still a bunch in there. They're doing okay. So we'll see how things go with these. I'll check tomorrow and then pick out all the dead ones, which would be a great fun. But yeah. I also put the ants in tin foils. They're doing okay. Are these moving? No, they're not. Maybe, I hope they are. Because these moved, finally, after like three weeks. These are still refusing to move. So, yeah. Yeah, without further ado, I'll roll in the clips for... These three now. Look, he's exploring. He's in heavy pre-mold, I know. So he's probably a mold soon.
Oh, this slips to Kurman for it. We'll probably start dating. Then the Kurma is. Yeah. So I rehouse these three. Okay. Okay. Enough of me rambling, let's get into the rehouse videos. I'll probably voice over them because I did them with my mom. My mom wanted to rehouse a few. So, yeah. He's having a dead roach. The scorpion out. Probably not, never is. Oh well, everyone's enjoying a uh, dead roach because I fed them again, because I threw them. Dead roach is in there, so they wouldn't go to waste. But yeah, have fun watching the rehouses I did. Oh, Phylacious didn't eat. Hmm. I thought she did. Oh well. Yeah, okay. I'll see you at the rehouses. Goodbye.